Welcome back to our channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at different ways that you can connect Google Analytics to Facebook and your WordPress site. One of the quickest ways to track your website traffic from Facebook is with the Traffic Acquisition Report. So in your Google Analytics 4 account, you'll need to find the report by navigating to Reports, and then to Acquisitions, and then to Traffic Acquisition. Now scroll down to the table, and once you're there, you're going to see one channel called Organic Social. Now this is where you'll find the traffic from social media, including Facebook. If you want to drill down to just your Facebook traffic, then click the blue plus sign to add a secondary dimension to your table. Now navigate to Traffic Source, and then choose Session Source. Next, locate the search bar, and type in Facebook. Now you'll have a report that includes just your Facebook traffic. Just scroll to the right, and you can find even more metrics like average engagement time per session, engagement rate, conversions, and revenue. All right, now let's look at another way to see traffic coming from Facebook. We'll do that by creating a custom expiration report in GA4. I know it looks intimidating at first, but just follow my step-by-step -step tutorial here, and you'll be able to create an in-depth Facebook traffic report that you can refer to all the time. You only have to create it once. So in GA4, navigate to Explore. Next, click to create a blank report, and then give your report a name. Next, click the plus sign next to Dimensions, and then search for and select these, Session Source, and Landing Page. And once you're done, import those dimensions. Now, click the plus sign next to Metrics, and then search for and select Sessions, Engage Sessions, Engagement Rate, Average Engagement Time Per Session, Conversions, and Revenue. This is optional for e-commerce stores. And then import those. Okay, next, click and drag the landing page metric over into the Rows box. You can also use the Show Rows drop-down to make your report show you more than just the top 10 results. Then click and move all of your metrics over into the Values box. Finally, click and drag Session Source down into the Filters box. Then in the drop-down, choose Contains, and then type in Facebook. All right, once you're done, just click Apply. Now you've got yourself a pretty thorough report on your Facebook traffic. You can customize reports to track specific metrics, such as form fields on your website. To do that, just add the metric to your values box and drag it into the filters to choose a specific form event that you'd like to track. Campaigns in Google Analytics allows you to track the traffic coming from specific marketing campaigns. You can create campaigns by adding UTM parameters to the links that you share in your marketing materials. Now, those links are going to look something like this. All right, after that, you can add parameters to your URLs to categorize your traffic in GA4. This will let you see how different sources of traffic are doing on your website. For more on how to use campaigns, just check out our post on a beginner's guide to UTM parameters and how to use them. Again, I've left a link in the description. If you're a WordPress user, you have an easy way to see visits from Facebook right on your WordPress dashboard. All you have to do is install the Monster Insights plugin. Monster Insights lets you easily connect your site to Google Analytics so you can view all the data that matters most right on your WordPress dashboard. With just a click of a button, you can set up sophisticated tracking features too, such as event tracking and e-commerce tracking. Plus, you can easily track forms and custom dimensions and outbound links and media, as well as lots of other things that Google Analytics doesn't track right out of the box. To get started, you'll need to install Monster Insights. You want to be sure to choose the license level with all the features that you need. Now, if you aren't sure that you're going to need all of the best features right now, you'll still be able to take advantage of the top 10 referral report with Monster Insights Lite. But for this tutorial, I'll be installing Monster Insights Pro. So to get started, just head over to the Monster Insights pricing page and select Monster Insights Pro. Now, once you're all signed up, just go to your account area and then head over to the Download tab. And then download the zip file of the plugin to your computer. All right, next, log into your WordPress site. And then on the admin sidebar, 
Just click Plugins and then select Add New. All right, then select the Upload Plugin button right here at the top of the page. Now you can either click Choose File or you can just drag and drop the zip file here, doesn't matter, and click Install Now. Once that's done, just activate the Monster Insights plugin. Okay, now you'll need to connect Google Analytics to your site. Now don't worry, just follow the steps in the Setup Wizard and the plugin will automatically add Google Analytics to your site without editing any code. If you'd like to have more details, be sure to check out the link in the description to our guide on adding Google Analytics to WordPress. Now, once you've installed Monster Insights, you're going to find the top 10 referral report right inside your WordPress dashboard. And since traffic from Facebook is categorized as referral traffic, you're going to see it right there. And that's it. Now, we hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to check out the links in the description for more details. Thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time. See your Google Analytics data in WordPress with Monster Insights. Get 50% off right now and subscribe for more helpful content like this.